Okay, hey, so welcome to this video. Uh, my name is Nimesh. I'm a comic book digital colorist. And today I'm coloring a piece of superheroes from iconic moments from various TV shows and movies. Um, and I just want to show you uh, this particular uh, frame that I'm going to color uh, that features George Reeves as Superman. Uh, I've already did a uh, as you guys can see, um, Green, Green Hornet, Wonder Woman, Batman, and obviously uh, I started with also, uh, my God, George Reeves. <laughs> what are the names? So let's start. First, what I did was to choose a base color of George Reeves so I can apply it from on the frame that I'm going to color. Now we're going to choose a basic color for his hair and since he has a dark hair uh, I don't like to use uh, black or at least I like to use with a, a dark blue color it makes lot things more interesting uh, for his suit, we're going to change something here. Let's find a nice, beautiful and a sexy blue for his suit. Now, before we start coloring this, uh, probably I should uh, make a quick search. On the internet uh, and see on Pinterest possibly uh, and see some reference for this image. Uh, as I look for the reference I noticed that the blue on his uniform is different from uh, what I've chose so I decided to correct that. This is why a reference is always important. Uh, as I see on the reference uh, I noticed that uh, her hair um, is also reddish, uh, which made me kind of think about uh, two twice, because I never thought Lois had her reddish hair, even though I'm going to change it a bit, more going for more a brown one. Uh, it was interesting to see that, uh, well, the references has a Lois with a red hair. Uh, but first, let's start with her skin. So for her skin, what I did was to sample George Reeves skin color and shift it a little bit uh, just to make it look a little different because well, we don't have, even though both of them are Caucasian, we have different, we have, we want different skin colors. This piece has two different uh, uh, strips with movies, so I want to separate them from the top and the bottom. On the top one I'm going to for more warm colors and the bottom one will have more cold colors. Hopefully this will help to make it different and uh, interesting visually. Uh, so for this one I'm going to a greenish more hot color and uh, a window with a, a good yellow f as a sun dusk or something like that and it will go along very well with their faces because of the Terminator. That the artist did. So let's go. Uh, now we have the base color all figured out. Let's uh, color the the frame. Ooh. Okay, so this scene is basically done. Uh, we're going to choose if we can because I screwed up everything now. Damn it. At this point I realized that uh, I merged my color layer with my flat layer so I couldn't choose my background uh, from the flats because everything was impossible to choose from because I've already colored. So now I have to do it manually. Okay, so the manual selection is done. Now we're going to do the the um, highlight coming. The lights coming from 
the window. Hopefully it will make things look cool. Now let's deselect so I can make it a little bit here on the lowest face. And Superman also. Okay, and it, oh wait, no, 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 it's not done. Uh, I was going to say, I'm going to tell that it was done, but no. I forgot Superman's cape. Still needs color there, man. All right, now it's done. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and see you guys on the next one.